what's going on guys so the bottom dollar bounty dlc may be the worst dlc to release in a long time in gta online out here man um let me know in the comments man what you guys think about this i'd appreciate it feel free to uh hit that like button for me i'd appreciate it um you know this is really disappointing you know what i'm saying like i uh personally it's my own opinion you guys may disagree but i think personally look at this clown Oh, come on. I think personally that we could add something. Yeah, old son. I think personally we could add something a lot better months ago. You know what I mean? You got to think. These timelines are six months plus usually. Okay, half a year. You're going to tell me it took half a year to release the bell enforcement stuff? Like, come on, man. Like, And really it's not even that much of anything. And you're not really... Like, normally you have, like, setups to do, and you'll have, like, a mission, kind of like a heist. I think they've had that in other jobs. Um, you know, I mean, they had some clothing items and stuff, some uh, some full uh, some full suits and things like that. I think they had different masks and other clothing, uh, clothing items. But uh, personally, man, I think that uh, it's something that could have been added months ago. Not even as a DLC, but something just, just added in general. Um, I just find it disappointing, man. I mean... I played it on stream. I'm sure most of you guys have played it by now. And here it is, right here. <laughs> um, I've actually driven by this, or flown by this, multiple times. Right by Pops Pills, headass. Um, and this is where they put it. So you're going to tell me it took them six months to cut this building out, turn it into bottom dollar bail enforcement, put an open sign on it, and be able to make it to where you can go into it. Um... You know, it's pretty cool going down there by the studio and, and checking for the clues or whatever and being able to, uh, um, man, this lobby, I need my damn, I'm going to get bad sport. Um, everybody's spread out. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, the studio thing was cool, but, uh, you know, I was talking about a long time ago to where we could like actually go into buildings and stuff. So being able to actually go into that building, I guess you used to be able to go into it back in story mode. Um, that was a little bit, that was cool, you know what I'm saying? Being able to actually go into a building and you can see outside of it, stuff like that. Like, that was badass to me. Um, look at this clown right here. Gamma170102 headass. Go ahead and get out that whip. <coughs> but, um, anyways, man, um, it's just insane to me, you know? Um, we could have had mansions. I mean, you gotta think, we're probably gonna have at least... Hell no, who's shooting at me? Oh, it's a buzzard. God damn it. Yeah, you better Ewo, bitch. Um, did you ever shoot at me again? And what was wrong with that clown, for real? Um, mansions could have been badass. He almost had me. Mansions could have been badass. That's what I would have preferred over this. This is kind of just junk to me. I mean, something... I got on there to do those missions, and I'm like... What the hell? Like, I thought there was actually something to build up towards. Nah, there ain't nothing to build up towards. At all. Whatsoever. Um, you literally just do... There's, like, a main bounty, and I guess it ref uh, refreshes, like, every day or something. And then there's uh, there's all the other ones. That, and all you're doing is toss them into a van and take them to the corpse center or whatever. I mean, that's that's it. I mean, there's nothing, no kind of... Nothing towards it. Um, you know, and... With mansions, we could have at least had some kind of, like, story to it. You know what I'm saying? If Michael came back and and all that. I don't even know how they would bring Michael back. Because didn't he get dropped off the tower? Or, no, was that... Damn, I can't remember. Was it Trevor? No, Michael did. Michael, you let go. You let Michael go off that. And then Trevor got burned, if I remember right. Um, it's just wild, though, man. I mean, I... Uh, all respect to Rockstar, man. But, like, come on. You know, and this is... You guys got to think, besides GTA 5, this is what we're going to be dealing with for the future of uh, GTA Online. GTA 6 is going to be holding a lot bigger things. Now, with that being said, they're probably gearing to more higher expectations for GTA 6 and having things set uh, a little bit more crazy for GTA 6. But, I, it, you know, it just disappoints me. If you're looking back at, like, PS4 DLCs and PS3 DLCs, there's just so many more things that they could be releasing compared to what they're releasing now. I just uh, I just find it hard to believe that it takes them six months to release something that seems like only it would take like a month for them to release. They probably had this ready for months, if I'm going to be honest, but just now pushed it out. 
Like, okay, we're going to make them wait months for something we could have had out in a month. You know? Um, uh, you know, a couple of the cars were cool. I'm not a car person in GTA, but... You know, like I said, it's just it's just things like they added some things in Legendary. They added some clothes items like, ooh, you know, like the main thing was that bell enforcement thing, right? And it wasn't even that great. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Um, and then, you know, they, they put out these new community guideline thing or this community guideline message. Sorry, should I say community guideline message? And uh, I think there's possibly a new band wave that's going to be happening personally. Um, the last time we saw something like that, there was a massive band wave. So, honestly, I don't know, man. We're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. But, um, but yeah, like I said, let me, oh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Look at this clown right here. Let me know in the comment. Oh my, what in the hell is going on? He's gonna shoot me. He's gonna shoot me. I'm dead. Yeah, you should have just pulled out your gun, son. Yeah, look at you now. Go fast. Lay down. The fuck? Um... I want to know what you guys think because I know I'm not the only one that thinks this. You know, now I will be honest that that cut scene where uh, uh, was it mod? I think it was mod. Yeah, where she was kicking the when she kicked the ball out the cut scene. Oh, um, now that was hilarious. I don't know why it was so damn funny, but her big ass kicked that ball, man, trying to walk outside, and I, I about died, man. I was that was actually funny, um, but uh, but nah, man, you know. High expectations for GTA 6 uh, for a lot of people. There's still there's still a lot of time left left in uh, GTA 5. You know what I mean? We still don't. We're still not even in 2025 yet. Or uh, yeah, 2025, man. I mean, we uh, we still got like a year and a half before we see GTA 6. You guys got to realize that. So look at these clowns. Absolute clowns right there. Go ahead and lay down. Look, whole whip blew up. KFC crispy chicken right here. Not Smalls had ass. Not Sean had ass. Go ahead and hold that lick for me. I appreciate that, man. I really appreciate that. But hey, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, man. And uh, you guys have a good one. Peace.